Buckhound from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Buckhound was a breed of now extinct scent hound from England. They were used to hunt pharaoh deer in packs. Two images accompany this section of the article. The first is captioned, The New Forest Buckhounds, 1896. The second is, The Royal Buckhounds, 1875. Origin, England. Breed status, extinct. Section 1. History. From the Middle Ages, the hunting of deer in England varied depending on whether the quarry was the large stag or red deer or the smaller buck or pharaoh deer. The use of different hounds for the hunting of different deer species was known from at least the reign of Henry III, 1216 to 1272, with packs of stag hounds maintained for the hunting of stag whilst the hunting of the smaller buck was conducted with packs of buckhounds. By the 15th century, stag hunts and buck hunts were diverged significantly. During a stag hunt, stag were tracked and located using limers, and then hunted using the deep-scenting stag hounds, whereas buck hunts were more of a fast-paced par-forced hunt, with the hounds hunting by both sight and smell, and emphasis being placed on the pace of the hunt. Buck hunting held a special place in England during the reign of Edward III, 1327 to 1377, when the Royal Buckhounds Pack was established and the title Master of the Buckhounds was allocated to the Broncas family. The English and later British monarchs maintained the royal buckhounds until the 20th century. When Queen Anne became too infirm to follow the hounds on horseback, she had paths cut through Windsor's forest so she could follow the hunt in the carriage. Due to scarcity of deer to hunt by the time of George III's reign, 1760 to 1820, the Royal Buckhounds was one of the few remaining buckhound packs in England. Buck hunts become hunts for carded deer. A semi-tame deer was released and hunted by the hounds and accompanying riders, but the hounds were prevented from harming the deer, which was recaptured and returned to its deer park unharmed to be hunted again later. In 1868, the hounds ran through Wormwood Scrubs, and the hunt ended at Paddington Goods Station. The Prince of Wales rode home to Marlborough House wearing his pink coat. Queen Victoria appeared as a spectator at only one meet of the Queen's Hounds in 1874. Until 1878, the Prince of Wales hunted fairly regularly with the Buckhounds. However, there was talk about abolishing the buckhounds and turning them into a royal fox hunt. Reverend Joseph Strayton spearheaded the humanitarian campaign against the buckhounds in 1852. He worked tirelessly, walking 10 or 20 miles a day, to expose the hunting of the carded deer as a spurious sport. Eventually, in 1901, the pack was dissolved as a cost-saving measure by Edward VII. Buck hunting was subsumed by stag hunting, and buckhounds died out. Section 2. Description Artistic depictions show that the buckhound's appearance was quite similar to that of the harrier, a hound used for hare hunting in packs, being notably smaller and lighter framed than the staghound. Richard Barrett Davis described buckhounds in this way. The buckhounds, in the days of George III, was tall, loose, and ill put together, with a well-formed head and large ears, not rounded. Its color was yellow pie, more in spots than the usual in hounds. Its pace for half an hour was very fast. After the first stop, there was little difficulty in keeping up with them. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License.
This audio file was recorded on the 14th of March, 2024.